The Batman Season 1 Episode 2 titled Call of the Cobblepot can be summed up in one word. Birds. Shut up, bird! <laughs> in this episode, we get to see Alfred in action and some of his family history with the Cobblepots. Alfred is concerned with Bruce's well-being and pushes Bruce Wayne to go to a gala as an excuse for people not to be skeptical of Bruce Wayne's doings when the sun goes down. As far as Gotham public is concerned, Bruce is a party animal at night. It's cool to see Alfred being concerned with Bruce's well-being outside of being Batman. It says a lot about the relationship between these two characters. I hope to see more of that and how that continues to develop as the show continues. Will Alfred eventually abandon Bruce because he's gone too far down the path of a masked vigilante like in The Dark Knight Rises? Or will Alfred continue to protect Bruce like in The Dark Knight and in The Batman? At the gala, my boy Bruce is chopping it up with some baddies, boy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's spitting game when suddenly we're introduced to Cobblepot who's just returned from a trip to the Oriental. He's an absolute pig who gets handsy with girls at clubs and eats everyone's food. Oswald is basically Bruce Wayne, but fat, short, and not a masked vigilante. Cobblepot is played by the great Tom Kenny, who plays SpongeBob SquarePants. Fun fact, the showrunner's action sequences and animation style is influenced by anime and kung fu movies. The fact that Cobblepot, an overweight penguin, is acrobatic and knows kung fu is something straight out of a kung fu movie. I mean, my boy goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Batman, just like the Joker in Season 1, Episode 1. This is something I'm noticing about the Batman. The villains look distinct and are bulky and can really pack a punch. This episode explains that Cobblepot knows how to fight from his trip to Asia. It's probably where he picked up these Kabuki assassins. What else did Cobblepot learn from his trip to Asia? Will this be further explored as the series continues? At the end of the episode, there's a one-on-one -on -one basketball game between Bennett and Wayne, with Bennett scoring a sweet slam dunk. Bennett reinforced forces his appreciation for the Batman and how he's taking down all these freaks. But Wayne is worried that it might not be the freaks who bring out Batman, but the Batman who brings out these freaks. This was an idea that was introduced in the previous episode in The Bats in the Belfry with the Joker. Despite being a kid's show, the Batman has mature ideas that will keep both adults and kids entertained. It's why I'm enjoying this show that is a bit underrated among Batman fans. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. I'll be posting more videos like this one. Before I go, this is a reminder to stay active and make healthier choices. Your body will thank you in the long run. Oh dear. And what of those birds? They flew the coop. Will you calm down? You're eating that cheese stick like some kind of giant bird, you know? Pull up in that mask where you just want some fanfare. These days humble come rare. Flashy looks people stare. You're so lost like tears and rain. Run your mouth, you're still in chains. Useless, you should be ashamed. Crying like a kid in pain. <laughs>